Well, we're here in the Upper East Side, John, and, and as you can see, we've got significant flooding from uh, Hurricane Irene. It's at least three quarters of an inch, maybe. Yeah, you can you can see you can see the the water flowing here. Uh, here, you can see it's 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 at least a good centimeter up and over the top of our toes here, John. So. We got some uh, wet feet here. Yeah, you know, she York came City. through here. She came through here at about uh, nine o'clock this morning, and uh, and it's not a pretty scene. There's trash and debris everywhere. Uh, you know, right here in the middle of the road. It's uh, it's a scary scene. We're here with one of the survivors, Jamie. Uh, you can't talk about it. It, it. Apparently, it's too troublesome for her. It's too troublesome. She's moved on, but but Ian uh, Kesey, uh, <laughs> one of the local city administrators, has noticed a pattern from Irene. Uh, Ian, would you tell us about that pattern? Well, I walk these sidewalks every day, John, and uh, these were nice, smooth concrete, clearly laid by some good New Yorkers. And uh, now they've got this cracked pattern. You can see close to the road here. They're really kind of close ridges, almost. It's like the hurricane just laid out a whole pattern here for us to follow doesn't appear that a uh, hurricane is not without a sense of uniform symmetry, you know? I'd like to say hello to my mother, too. She's on Lower Queens. She's doing well. She's doing well. She's got that raindrop stuff on her windows like everybody else, but she's, you know, she's toughing it out. It's a tough old bag, you know what I'm saying? 